Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Seeds of Resilience. For those of you joining me for the first time ever, my name is Sabalza. For those of you returning, I'd like to welcome you back. Now, Seeds of Resilience is a pretty unique game. It is a colony management game. It's currently an early access, uh, sort of a colony survival management game, but it's a little bit different than most colony management games you would play. And you'll understand why once we actually get into the game. Now, essentially, you're taking control of these people. They've been shipwrecked on, on an island in the middle of the ocean. You've got to gather food. You've got to build up your colony. You've got to survive. And occasionally, storms will plague the island and cause all sorts of havoc. And you've got to try to uh, persevere whenever a storm hits. So... The developers of the game, they've actually taken some inspiration from games like Dwarf Fortress. And for those of you who have followed my channel for a while, you'll understand that Dwarf Fortress is one of my favorite games. I haven't covered it as much as I'd like to, but definitely a top five for me uh, on games I've played. I really enjoy Dwarf Fortress, so I'm excited to play this one. We'll go ahead and click on Survival and get started. We've got two islands here. We've got Alpha Island and we've got Hook Island. Uh, let's go ahead and do Elf Island. I actually really like the look of that one compared to Hook Island. It just seems a little bit more like there's a lot more variety. So let's do Elf Island. All right. And there's our three guys here. We have been shipwrecked on this island. We can kind of scroll around and see what kind of resources we've got. There is a tutorial, but I'm going to go ahead and click out of that because I do know the basics of the game already. So this is Alpha Island. You can see we've got a bunch of stone down here. Looks like maybe some food, a little bit more food inland. Some trees. What's this over here? Maybe bamboo. And uh, cattails, nice. And we've got uh, various things that have also been scattered to the shore, uh, various debris and such, but uh, yeah, and we've got our ship that we came up in. So these are our citizens here. We can actually open this up and take a look at all three of them. Uh, I don't think you can name citizens, which is unfortunate. Uh, I know that they have names, but I don't think you can name them. So we've got Teku, Zarik, and Awina, I guess, is the names. And you can see here that it's a little bit different than most survival games in terms, or most colony management games. I say it's a little bit closer to that. In terms of how it operates, you don't actually control your citizens like you would in a game like RimWorld or Dwarf Fortress. They actually have a set amount of hours uh, that go into turns. So you can see here that this guy's got three hours and both of them, they've got four hours. And every time you, you do a turn in the game, it'll actually take up an hour. You can increase these amounts of hours by doing things like uh, having them rest more or building places where they can rest. And that'll give you more hours to use. Now, they do consume turn, uh, food as well. So you want to make sure you have enough. They consume, the, uh, consume food uh, between turns. So once you run out of hours here, it'll actually uh, technically prompt you to end a turn. So you do all your hours, you end the turn, and then you get new hours. Then you do those and another turn and so on and so forth. So we'll go ahead and do a couple of different things. Obviously, the most important thing is going to be gathering food. Uh, that'll be pretty crucial. We should be able to take a look here and see what we actually have. And we don't have anything, as you can see. And that's in our storage here. We do got a little stockpile. That's what these are over here. We're going to want to make more stockpile space. And I think that we can pretty much make that for free. If I remember correctly, it requires neither time nor material. Simply place it on the map. So the very first thing we're going to want to do is get some more stockpile space. Because that's one thing you can't have enough of. A stockpile space. We'll probably eventually move that somewhere where we build our home. Now we want to take a look at the type of dwelling we want to build. This holds one, holds two, and then we've got one that holds three. We're going to want to build the one that holds three right off the bat. Because we want to get all three of our people in dwellings. And you'll see that we need some various branches. We can use either chestnut branch, a fir branch, or an oak branch. And we need some broom branch. Now, I don't even know where we can get broom branch. But I'm going to guess it's out of these. So we're going to want to probably do that. Uh, and then 
we can do some various crafting of items, but we're not too concerned about that. We're mainly concerned about getting food. So let's go ahead. These guys actually come with different traits. You can see here we've got uh, Taku, who's got the survival trait. Oops. And we've got Zarik, who's got the farming, and Owena's got the wood cutting. So let's see. Let's go ahead and grab him up because we're going to want to do some gathering. Not planting, but gathering. And I don't know if the farming actually helps with gathering. But uh, we're going to find out real quickly if it does or doesn't. Let's see what else we got. Recycle. We can recycle things. Okay, so we're going to want to harvest. So what do we want to harvest here? And we've got him selected farming. We've got blackberries. I really think we want to go for the tomato plants. How many hours does this take? Just one hour? It's going to take us one hour no matter what. So let's get the tomato plants harvested. You can see that they do go away. They will grow back. But you want to make sure you definitely don't exhaust all of your food. We'll actually get three of those. That's enough food for everybody for one turn. He's got one more hour left and we should probably use that hour to gather something that's going to get us see that that'll give us broom branch so let's let's definitely get some broom branch oh that takes two hours look at that two hours well we could we don't want him to cut down any trees well he could cut down trees i guess it don't matter are we going for fir branches though or do we want we got some chestnut fur, fur. So there's actually enough fur here to do it. So let's go for fur. Okay, so that's him all finished up. We can actually cycle through people by using the scroll wheel, which is really convenient. All right, our guy here with survival. We can actually let's do the wood cutting and get the rest of the fur branches. So there's fur. How many more do I need? I just need two more fur branch. Okay, there's that. And then if she can gather some broom branch, that'd be great. And then we've got him. And I think we need a little bit more broom branch. Ah, see, we're not going to get it this turn around, but we'll be close. So we'll have him gather some fur branch. And he's got only one hour left. We'll use it to get uh, some more tomatoes maybe. But we're going to want to get a renewable source of food very, very quickly. Um, let me think about this. I think we might want to go for fishing. We've actually got some fish right next to our... Actually, we've got a few fish in the area. Oh, we could have them craft. I bet we could have them scavenge this box here. There might be... Is there any other boxes? There might be some food in that. Let's, let's see what we've got in here. Oh, I think we have to recycle that. Oh, there is actually some zucchini in there, so go ahead and grab that. Okay, so that's everybody. If we take a look, everybody, he's used their hours. And so you can click down here to do uh, to the next turn. I'm not actually sure. Let me see. I'm sure there's a hot key to progress the turn. And it's E. Okay, I just want to make sure. So we'll end our turn. All right, and we're on day two. And now you can see that everybody's got some more hours. Yesterday we had, was the first day that we actually like shipwrecked. So there was, uh, everybody was kind of exhausted from the float. But now we've finally got the full nine hours and it will be possible to increase this over time, especially because everybody's hunger is nice and full. I think that's what actually triggered that and made it so we got the full nine hours. Now I do want to take a look at our store again real quick. Quick, I think we've just got the zucchini for food. Yeah, and we've only got three of them, so we've got to get uh, a little bit more food right out the gate. And that's why we're going to want to focus on getting some more food. We've got a lot of blackberries, so that'll last us as well. In fact, if I take a look, and let's switch to this guy here. 
Now we've only get one blackberry though, and we're gonna go through food quick if we don't get a renewable source of it. But let's uh, let's grab up our woodcutter here. Let's get some more broom branch, because then we can have somebody actually build a house, which we're all set and ready to go. Now where do we want to actually build the house? I'm thinking right here. Let's do that. I kind of like that area. And it's going to take seven hours to build. No, it takes more than seven hours. But she could work on it for seven. Why don't we put him on it? And have him work on the building. Okay, so it's going to take up all his hours, but we'll be done with it. Perfect, and we've got a form of rest. All right, but he's all taxed out. Let's go ahead and get some more food. Well, we've got to make sure we've got enough. But that's actually it for tomatoes. Which makes me nervous. There is some in here, but I'm having a hard time clicking them. There we go. And that should give me enough food. Yeah. But like I said, you, you start to run out of food very quickly. Um, I can gather the fish. I need fishing though. And we can get a garden going as well. And we can get some tomato seeds. Um, and we're going to want to make some hooks, which you need shells. I think so we can get a fishing pole. What do I need to actually make this? I need some string, some fishing hook, and some bamboo. What do I need to harvest bamboo? Um, I can actually harvest that, but if I want to, I can harvest it. <clears throat> if I get an axe, I can harvest more. That's a pickaxe. Rudimentary axe. Just need some string, some pebbles and such. Okay, so let's have him gather. Let's see. We need pebbles. So get me some pebbles. Perfect. And then just whatever for a branch. We'll have him just harvest whatever. So chestnut's fine. And then we need some string that's where do I get string that's gonna be the question of the day there's got to be some fiber right here okay all of this it's right by camp actually okay gather me some fiber which has to be crafted in the string oh he's not skilled enough it's got to be somebody Oh, with the survival, right? Yeah. Ah, so you've got to make sure you really use people to their advantage. Okay. Very good to know. So he can't craft that. He doesn't have enough survival. That's perfectly fine. He is good at farming. And I do want him to get me some zucchini seeds, I think. Well, do I want to plant tomatoes or zucchinis? I, I, where do I even want to put the farm? Doesn't matter. We can put it right here, actually, be fine. Small little farm right here. Yeah, let's do tomato seeds. Um, it's going to take some time for these things to grow, so we want to start getting them now. He's got one more hour, which is good. So he can use that to plant me a tomato plant. Okay. And we've only got her left. Uh, she can plant? She can. Okay, so we'll plant the rest of our tomato plants. There we go. So those will start growing, which would be good. We're going to want that food. We've only got two hours left. 
Uh, probably wouldn't hurt to gather some blackberries for it. Oh, she can't. She's actually... Oh, she's all out. Okay, so everybody... Yes, everybody is done. All right, let's go ahead and move on to day three. Oh, we didn't put them in the house. No, don't in turn. Duh, we've got to actually assign them to the house. I just have to remember how to do it. Here we go. Assign. So, we'll actually do you, you, there we go. And that counts towards everybody's rest. Now we'll end the turn. All right. Mm, what is next? Some of these tomato plants are starting to grow, which makes me happy. We should take a look at our food stocks again. Okay, so we're going to have to gather some food. That could be the tricky part. It gets harder and harder to get food. We're going to want to work on that pier now and try to get some fishing going. Uh, we can recycle this, which actually gives us string. I wish I had known that earlier. But that's uh, fine. So we've almost got all the string we need. Uh, we just need some bamboo. But I think we were actually making this string for... The axe. Which we've got enough. So let's go ahead and craft that. Where's our survival guy? Here he is. All right, so he'll craft one axe, and we'll uh, want to give that to her. Okay, so she's got the axe now. And now that we've got the axe, we can cut down bamboo. So let's grab her up and do some bamboo cutting. All right, that gives me three bamboo. What else? Still need the string and we need some hooks. I think hooks I can get. Let me have him harvest some seashells here. Which we got to have our survival guy craft. I like that you can kind of just scroll through these quickly. You can really navigate it, you know, fairly well. It's not that hard to navigate. Um, okay, what else? Just the string. Okay, I'm going to have her gather to make string. Uh, actually, I might already have enough to make string. I do. Did I only need one? No, I need one more. Okay. Do I have to actually be here? Or can I place this wherever? I'll place it here where the fish... They seem to be kind of just floating around this general area. So we'll place it where they are just in case. Um, it takes two hours to build. Um, let's have him go gather real quick so we can make sure we've got all the food we need. Or we're going to take a penalty. We'll just have him gather all of these blackberries. Okay. That should, yep, give me enough. All right, we'll have her build it, I think. Can I have him use it?
Oh, it's considered a farming building. Interesting. So it actually would have to be him who would use it. So he can harvest fish from here. Uh, says he needs... I don't know if he can actually use... Not sure how this particular element works. I haven't built the fishing rod yet. I'll have to mess with it a little. We still got our garden, though. Um, but with that being said, uh, I want to thank you all for joining me because we are out of time. But there's going to be an episode 2, 3, 4, etc. So make sure to stick around and check it out. I'm excited to see how far we can make it in the game and how long we can survive. Obviously, the food crisis is going to be the first thing we've got to settle with. And I'll mess with this a little bit off camera as well. But let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think. It's kind of a pretty neat game for what it is. I'm having a lot of fun with it. I think that there's a lot of potential here. And I know that it's early access and it's constantly being worked on and it is growing. So it'll be cool to see where it goes. So yeah, definitely drop a comment below. Let me know what you think. And if you want to hang around so you can catch every single episode, don't forget to subscribe as well. That really helps me out a lot. But I want to thank you all for joining me. I do hope that you've enjoyed it. And I look forward to seeing you next time.